with only four weeks left in the season, it was do or die for the remaining nine. Couples on Dancing with the Stars, on Monday night each couple performed a Halloween-themed routine in the hopes of spooking the judges and audiences into granting them another week in the competition. At the end of the night Milo Mannheim and Juan Pablo de Pace tied for the top spot with both earning perfect scores of 30 out of 30. Meanwhile, Ivana Lynch had a breakthrough this week earning her highest scores yet. Also for the first time this season, grocery store Joe did not place at the bottom of the leaderboard. Unfortunately, that honor went to John Schneider, whose Beetlejuice-inspired Paso Doble left the judges cold. But in the end it was Olympic gold medalist Mary Lou Rednan, her partner Sasha Farber who were taken out of the competition. Did they really deserve to go home? Below are my rankings for Halloween night from worst to best. Which performances were sweet and which ones left a sour taste in my mouth? 9. Joa Mobble. Bruno 7. I give major props to Jenna for the Frankenstein theme, and Joe actually showed some improvement with this performance. This was the first time I felt he actually enjoyed himself on the dance floor. With that said, I'm still hoping that this is his final dance. 8. John Schneider. Carrie Ann 6. Len 7. Bruno 6. Jen has impressed me in recent weeks. However, I felt that this was one of his weakest performances this season. I thought he performed the steps fairly well, but it lacked the passion and attack of the Paso Doble. There were also a lot of mistakes that came off as sloppy throughout the dance. 7. Mary Lou Redden. An 8. Len 8. Bruno 8. I really loved the opening of the dance in which the evil teacher laid waste to her classroom. But I agreed with Carrie Ann and Abba that it felt a little bit forced and lacked energy and attack. 6. DeMarcus Ware. 9. Bruno 9. DeMarcus had a fire lit under him after being in jeopardy. Last week, overall, this dance was really entertaining. The lifts were especially amazing, but in my opinion it lacked the hip action needed for the salsa. Lindsay deserves credit, then. For choreographing to DeMarcus's strengths, literally. 5. Bobby Bones. Judge A score, 22 thirtieths. Carrie Ann 8. Len 7. Bruno 7. The storytelling in this dance was good. However, I felt that the choreography leaned more towards contemporary than Argentine tango. With that said, this performance did a great job of keeping you glued to the screen from start to finish, and it was his best dance. 4. Alexis Wren. Bruno 9. This Candyman routine had great staging, and I thought the dance itself was cute. It was light, fun and entertaining. And Alexis and Alan definitely have great chemistry. 3. Juan Pablo de Pace. Le 10 Bruno 10. This was a very neat and clean dance. There was a lot of jive content, and it was full of energy throughout. I think this was one of his best dances this season. 2. Ivana Lynch. Tango judges score, 29 30 Carrie Ann 10 Len 9 Bruno 10. After weeks of disappointing scores, Ivana was looking to prove that she's truly a contender for the Mirabal Trophy. If her tango is any indication, she's starting to peak at the right time. The routine was full of content, energy, and attack, and it's about time. The judges scored her accordingly. 1. Milo Mannheim. Carrie Ann 10 Len 10 Bruno 10. I loved the padded cell staging and storytelling. Milo is great at getting into character, and he had me entranced. This will go down as one of the best routines of the season. Elimination prediction, with the Elimination of Mary Lou, we are down to just two female celebs in this competition. I'm not sure who will go home with low-scoring celebs like Joe and Bobby constantly. Safe from the chopping block. I have a strong suspicion that we may see Alexis and Alan go home with the possibility of John and Whitney being the other couple. In a double elimination, be sure to make your predictions so that the contestants can see how they're faring in our racetrack odds. You can keep changing your predictions until just before the next episode airs every Monday on ABC. You'll compete to win a spot on our leaderboard and eternal bragging rights. See our contest rules and sound off with other fans in our reality TV forum. Read more Gold Derby Entertainment news.